know me better. <laughs> so good to see you, especially during this joyous time. I'm looking for Ebenezer Scrooge. Have you seen him? Right there. No, 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 that's just a grumpy old dude. That's not Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge is dressed all in black, but not leather like you. He's, he's more old school. On Friday, we got the gyro at Sutter's, and it looked really weird and didn't taste right. I just figured maybe it wasn't a good gyro, but I love gyros. And we tried it again today, and it looks completely different. So I think they, maybe they gave us the vegan chicken tender instead on Friday, but this looks good. So we're going to try it here in a second. Doing the fried green beans. Try one, Nick, see what it tastes like. I like it. It's really good. Comes with a mushroom gravy. So this, I believe, is the real gyro. That's real gyro meat. That vegan, I think it was a vegan chicken tender we actually ended up getting the other day. It was good, it's just we were expecting it to be a gyro, so it tasted weird, but I think Nick is saying that he actually preferred the vegan chicken tender to the gyro meat. It's a little thin, that's a little dry, but the uh, butternut squash and tzatziki on the top is really good. The pita is real fresh, and the onions, the pickled onions are delicious. So it's a toss up, I guess, between the vegan chicken tenders and the gyro. Both come on the pita. For years, my mom tried to get me to eat Brussels sprouts. She'd be very happy if she were here today. <laughs> this was the first place we ran to, was to get the Brussels sprouts again. So good. The green beans come with a mushroom gravy dip, but I am actually using the gravy from the turkey bites. This is the veggie chili over rice. I also got the pulled pork mac and cheese. I heard good things about this on Friday. That's cauliflower rice. Oh yeah, it's, it's cauli good. cauliflower rice. Mm. I like it. It's not bad. I don't think I'd get it again. It's not. It's a. It's a not Italian seasoned minestrone. A not with, Italian seasoned minestrone is what Nick is saying. And it's with cauliflower rice. rice so it's like soft. It's like the consistency. Rice and cauliflower. Mm. It's like a stew. Not yeah. A, not a chili. Oh, good catch. Let's try this pork. <laughs> Okay, now that pork is amazing. It's so tender, it just fell apart. I picked it up, picked it apart with my fork. Mmm. Okay, get the pork. This cookie witch from Chow House Ice Cream is raspberry and white chocolate cookie with the strawberry soft serve ice cream. On Friday, we were going to do a cookie witch off because we had the other cookie witch, which is available at the Dippin' Dots in the boardwalk. That one was a North Pole oatmeal toffee cookie with pralines and cream hand-scooped ice cream. So Nick, as the cookie witch proclaimed connoisseur, will give us his opinion on which one is better. I don't know. The other one looked better, but we'll see. And this right here is the Elf Float, which is lime and sugar plum icy with vanilla soft serve ice cream. And I really can't do that much ice cream, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens after eating this much dairy. But it looks good. Like the other one, Nick's going to deconstruct this one and make a mess of it. So the cookie. Cookie is raspberry and white chocolate. That or the it's a good oatmeal. Soft cookie. Is it softer than the other one? Sometimes they're a little frozen. Better than the. Strawberry. This one's good. Better than the oatmeal one the other day? This one's less Christmassy. The other one is more like wintry. I don't know. I like them both. And the strawberry ice cream? That pra it's, it's strawberry ice cream. Uh -huh. and strawberry that, so soft serve. That pralines and cream was awesome. So, Between the two, which one, if you come back next week, which we will be here. 
I don't know. I don't think I can pick the two. Well, there you go. You just have to get both. Luckily, you have five tastes, so make two of them the Cookie Witch. If it were up to me, I would get the other one from Dippin' Dots. It's not bad, but that oatmeal with the pralines and cream definitely tops the strawberry cookie. But I'm still going to eat it. Let's try the icy. Hmm. Maybe it needs to melt in a second. And this shouldn't be that difficult. Give me a minute. So I cracked the straw trying to stir the ice cream, so I have to hold the video down like this. Mmm. That is a lime and sugar plum icy, yes. But the vanilla ice cream, this works and this is Christmassy. That's good. Thank you. Cheats at twice the price. Twice the price, sir. A Howdy. thousand dollars. You'll be a hit with your family. You tell everybody this is the treat from Charlie Brown. Think of what could happen. Thank you. 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 A fresh cut Christmas tree? Yes. It's we got we had a whole bunch of them. We're gonna get more next week. That's okay. the last one? This is the last it's one for today, but okay. we've been holding it back. That's that looks like a good one. Oh well, this is the original yeah. tree from a Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> it's a star. We've been holding it back because we had it in the lot and people wanted to buy it and we figured we sell it and nobody will come back. <laughs> Sold all the rest. Now we've got this That's a good one. A thousand dollars. A thousand? Okay, I'll go get some cash. I'll be all back. Right. Forgot it. We have to do the big opener. It's part of the rules. You've got to do it in every show. Big opener time. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, there it is. Thank you. Well, all right. That's $37 on Amazon, and that's all it does. Ah. Yo! Okay, I apologize. It doesn't seem to want to. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why you leave carrots out for the reindeer every year. There you go! Pass me out on a date. Yeah, he said he wanted you out by the 14th. Okay, needless to say, our little acting troupe has fallen on some hard times lately. Uh, go get the rest of the cast. There is no rest of the cast. What are you talking about? Remember how you told the other actors we couldn't pay them? Yes. And remember how you told the other actors, we don't do theater for the money, we do it for the love. Right. Turns out they were doing it for the love of money. They quit. So what are we going to do? Oh, uh, well, we're going to do the show. That's what we say in the birdcage. What's that smell? No. Huh. We say the show must go on. We can't disappoint the audience. That's never stopped us before. Listen, you go get the prep set and I'll do the introduction. Every year, the Birdcage Theaters present our version of the Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. As well as O. Henry's Gift of the Magi. That's correct. So without further ado, the Birdcage players proudly present A Christmas Carol. Gift of the Carol. Magi. What are you doing? I'm telling the audience the name of the show we're performing. But we're not doing A Gift of the Magi. Maybe you're not. Well, we only have time for one show, so we're going to be doing A Christmas Carol. And I think we should do Gift of the Magi. Well, that's what you get for thinking. I don't think I know. Well, that's what we agree. I don't think you know either. Go! <laughs> it was Christmas Eve in the counting house.
house of Scrooge and Molly and old Scrooge. Wait, there's only two of us. Who's gonna play Scrooge? Uh, way ahead of you. I got somebody for cheap, but keep the receipt. We gotta return to Party City in January. And old Scrooge, the town banker, who apparently went to work in his pajamas. Uncle, come have dinner with us this Christmas. And Scrooge said, Ah, humbug! Every year, Della invited him to dinner, and every year, Scrooge refused. Sadly, Della's cooking was so bad. How bad was it? It was so bad the flies chipped in to fix the screen door. Ew. Ew. And Merry Christmas! Another great day at Taste of Merry Farm. It was our second visit. Got to almost buy a Christmas tree from the used Christmas tree lot. A thousand dollars the guy wanted on the boardwalk. Saw a mashup from the Birdcage Players of A Christmas Carol and Gift of the Magi. My two favorite shows Knott's Berry Farm has ever done. And then also saw a magic show, had some good food. We'll be back in the middle of the week. Until then, subscribe and like the video. Thanks.